Hey everybody, it's Aaron Blaze here and I'm back for another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Yes, I know it's been a little while and we're going to try really hard in the new year to try to be a little bit more regular and get some more out to you. So, um, some of you may know that I've been working on a new short, an animated short, hand-drawn 2D, uh, called Snow Bear. And um, I'm, I'm in the process of storyboarding the whole thing right now. So I thought today it might be kind of nice to talk about storyboarding a little bit. So I just want to talk a little bit about um, posing, clear posing for storyboarding. And uh, that'll go into acting a little bit, but acting is a whole other part. But I just want to talk about posing itself and, and you know, how many poses you might need for a shot and that sort of thing. Um, let me back up a little bit more. You know, as a director, I, I, I've, I've been a director in the past, I've, I've done story in the past, I've been an animator in the past. And one of the biggest things I've learned is the importance, obviously, of storyboarding for the process in making an animated film. And, you know, if you want to go into story, one of the things I always tell people to realize is that as a storyboard artist, sometimes and often you need to be the best artist on the crew. And the reason I say that is because it's your job as a story artist you are creating the first image that gets up onto the screen. You're going from the written word, the script, and turning those words into pictures, comic book pictures, you know, that they're not, they're not animated yet, they're just storyboards, and you're putting them up on the screen. And so you need to be, uh, you need to know animation because you want to know the acting and you want to know movement. You need to know cinematography. You need to know composition. You need to know lighting. There's all kinds of different, you need to know cutting, editing. There's a lot of different things that you need to know um, to help you with your storyboarding. Now, some people will argue with me that, you know, getting story, doing story is really just about getting the idea down. And it is. And sometimes that's really all you have time to do. Quite often, that's all you have time to do. But in a perfect world, and we always strive for that, I really want story artists, if they're on my crew, if they're in, in, in myself, this is the standard I hold for myself. I want to think, I, I want, I want uh, cinematography thought about. I want acting thought about. I want composition thought about. I want everything thought about so that being the first person that creates that image on the screen, you got to remember there's going to be a whole bunch of people down the line that interpret those images. Now, granted, every step should improve upon the last step. And so if you have something that's not so great in story, from an image standpoint, it will get improved upon. But the better that image is in the beginning, the better off you're going to be down the line. And so I always stress you know, know your drawing, know your anatomy, know your acting, know your composition, cutting, all those things I keep mentioning, okay? I find that very important. So that's just my, my little bit of uh, preaching to you today because, um, you know, I, it's, it's just, it, to me, it's very, very important. But today, I want to talk a little bit more about just posing. And I took a little section of my short that I've been working on, Snow Bear, and there's a little section where the polar bear character in my story, um, he decides to make a snow bear. So it's a simple action. There's not a lot of emotion going on other than him kind of being happy about it. And he's, he's excited. Um, but there's a, lot of, there's a lot of complexity to it. The, the, it's a long shot. And the shot is really about him making a snow bear. And so... A lot of people can be caught up, can get caught up in that, in the mechanics of that and the complexity of that. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about how, you know, how often, how many drawings do you need uh, to describe an action and, and to get, make everything kind of clear and flow. And for the editor who's going to cut this together further down the line when you cut your storyboards together, to have enough drawings to accurately get across what that action is going to be on the screen. Okay, so the first thing I did was I wanted to thumbnail it out. Just like I was animating a scene or animating the shot, I wanted to thumbnail it. I wanted, to, I sat down and I thought about, okay, if I were making a snow bear, these are the things that I would have to do. So why don't we jump over to my screen real quick and I will show you what I'm talking about. So the first image right here, and here I just left this up for you guys to see. This is this is the snow bear. He's just a happy guy. This is a drawing I did the other day just to show you. He's just a guy that's happy to be in the snow and, uh, and he wants to share it with, with everybody. So I just wanted to share that with you. But anyway, here we go. Here are some thumbnails. This is the start. I'm going to run through all of them. 
And I really, you know, I set, I, I set up my, uh, I give myself notes. I try to be very clear in my thumbnailing. Yes, these are probably overdrawn a little bit, but I wanted to make this an example. As long as the actions, the posing, and the expressions, the, you know, all the acting, as long as that's all clear to you to refer back to, then whatever you're comfortable with is, is fine. But I want to make, you know, for me, the design of this character is somewhat realistic but pushed and, and kind of a Disney sort of way, sort of like Brother Bear. And so uh, because of that, I need to know my bear anatomy. I need to know how a bear is put together on top of, you know, the acting and all that. So I make sure, I think it's, 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 uh, it's vitally important to understand that sort of stuff. So you should be, you know, taking anatomy classes, drawing classes and that sort of thing. But here I, um, I'm, you know, I'm working out uh, the beginning of the shot. And what's happening is in this version, Snow Bear is kind of lonely. You can see in one and two, he's just kind of looking around and then he slumps down. He's, he's sad and he just kind of absentmindedly brushes the snow. And you can see that I've written myself some notes. He absentmindedly brushes the snow. And then it leaves a little pile and he looks around and he looks over and he sees it and he thinks for a moment. And then he grabs a little more snow and piles it up and you can see he's getting an idea. He's getting a little smile on his face. And he sits up and he's sitting there and he's kind of tapping his, his little paws together and he gets up and he walks out off screen and he at, leaves the shot and then he comes back in pushing, you can see here, up here, a whole bunch of snow into a pile and now he's really getting into it and he looks off screen again and he runs off and he comes back walking uh, on, you know, on his hind legs with another big pile of snow, throws that down and now he's looking at it and he's got a nice kind of lump of clay, so to speak. It's a big pile of snow to start, to start working. And he starts to shape it. He's smoothing the sides right there. And you can see that I'm just hitting the extreme actions. Here he's walking. There, boom, he bends down. Now he's standing back up. He bends down. It's, I, I'm just hitting the main actions. I'm not, you know, some people, especially if you come from the, uh, an animation background and this... That was my background was animation when I started story. I tended to throw too many poses in there. It was like I was animating the shot and you really don't need to throw that many in. And even in here, you, it, it's arguable that there might be too many, but because this shot is really all about him making the snow bear, I chose to add a few more poses. So he smooths out the, the lump of clay or the pile of snow. And then we come over and it's, he's got, He's got that all set, and now he looks over, looks down, reaches out, piles up some more snow, shapes it, and then brings it up and plops it down on top, and now he's got a head. Now he grabs some more snow. Here we go. Keeping in mind, I'm trying very hard to think about clear posing, clear acting. I want to make sure his face is clear and I want to make sure that the anatomy is accurate. I want to make sure that I'm drawing him correctly because I'll be able to use these poses in the storyboards later on. So he picks up a little bit more snow. He jams it into the face of the head, shapes it a little bit. You can see I've got his paws just kind of working and now he's got a snout. Now he reaches down and just plops on one ear, plops on the other ear right here. Boom, plops it on, and now he's got a snow bear right there. And so these were the thumbnails, the small drawings that I threw together to try to come up with that action. I then took all of those drawings, I resized them, put them together, and I created my storyboards. And so I want to show you what the storyboards look like. Okay, so here are the storyboards, and I'm just going to click through them. And uh, there might be one or two out of order because of the numbering, but I just want to show you, I threw in a very quick background. These are, are pretty finished storyboards, obviously. A lot of people don't do them in color because these are for me, I'm doing them in color. And I have a system, uh, I, I do my storyboards in Photoshop. I throw in a background and I do my character layers. It's very simple. And uh, so this is how they end up looking. So these, I basically blew up my uh, thumbnail drawings resized them, did a little touch up on the drawings. So I had some nice clear storyboards. And now you can see I've got some nice acting 
of him putting together a snow bear. And by the end, got the ear on there, he's very happy. And actually, he ends up scooting up to him, putting his arm around him, and looking off screen. Okay, so that's how I finish it out. Then it, came, then it comes time for me to cut it together. So I want you to know, I want to show you how that all came together. And I'm just going to go ahead and press play. I've backed it up a little bit. So what's happened is Snow Bear has been very lonely. He's made a prayer to the Northern Lights and he's wishing for a friend. And after he makes his wish, he turns away from the north, from the, from the, he's standing at the edge of the water. He turns away from the water and starts to walk away. So here we're seeing him sad after he's made his wish for a friend and he turns away and then something happens. So you're going to, you're going to see that I end up changing what, what I did in the thumbnails and you'll see how it comes together, but the main action stays the same. So look for that, uh, the scene of the shot where he's making the snow bear. All right, here we go. So here we're back into our storyboards. So you can see, um, it goes by fairly quickly and, and that shot really is all about him uh, uh, creating that snow bear and when you add a little bit of sound or add about a little bit of music, even the, without the sound effects, because eventually there'll be the sound of crunching snow and all that, it really comes off nicely and there's some, uh, there's a nice, you know, some, there's some feel good acting in there. So let me go ahead, I want to play it one more time for you. So there's a lot of drawings in there, but once again, it's all about clarity. So I hope you learned something. Make sure you take the time to work out your posing, work out your acting. Don't skimp on it. Storyboarding is the most important process as far as I'm concerned, because it describes everything else that's going to happen down the road. Okay. So take your time, make it clear, make it as great as you can. All right. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Thanks. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Spread the word. And also, if there's something that you're not seeing that you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.